Hello and welcome to this video on suitable degree of accuracy questions. Here is a very typical example which I'm going to walk you through. So we have m is equal to the square root of p divided by q. p is given to two decimal places, q is given to three decimal places. Now typically it will be phrased like this in the exam by considering bounds, work out the value of m to a suitable degree of accuracy. So with this, your first step, I would work out the upper bound and lower bound of each variable. So P, upper bound of P is 4.275. Hopefully you've done a lot of practice on this. Lower bound of P is 4.265. That's to three, uh, two decimal places, so this is to three decimal places. I do the same as Q. Now Q has an upper bound and a lower bound to four decimal places because this is to three decimal places. 9.4735 is the upper bound and the lower bound would be 9.4725. Now, we're going to find an upper bound and a lower bound for M. So, the upper M is going to be like this. The square root of P upper bound, so the upper P, divided by the Q lower bound. Because what I need is a big number on top and a small number on the bottom to make a bigger number. The bigger the number at the top, the bigger it will be. When you divide by a smaller number, you get a bigger number. So that would be the square root of your big P, which is 4.275 over your lower Q here, 9.4725. And that would give you I put this in my calculator earlier, it's 0.21827472299. I've just written the whole calculator display there. Now for your lower m, you do the opposite. You do the square root of p lower bound over q upper bound. And the reason is, if you've got a smaller number to divide by, it'll be smaller. And if you've got a bigger number, so if you're dividing by a bigger number, it will make it smaller. So small number on the top, bigger number on the bottom gives you the lower value. That's the key. So it's going to be 4.265 square rooted at the top. Just get that from there. My upper bound from there, which would be 9.4735. There you go. Now I stuck that in the calculator earlier. 0.21799626678. So that's my upper M, that's my lower M. I'm going to just do a little table for this. You wouldn't need to do this every time. So upper M lower M. Now if I did that to one decimal place, I'd get 0 0.2 for both. If I did that to two decimal places, so it'd be 0 0.22 the lower one would also be 0 0.22 now, let's round them to three decimal places. That would be 0 0.218. 0 0.218. To three decimal places, this would be 0 0.218. That rounds up because that's a nine. Let's try four decimal places. Four decimal places, I get 0 0.2183. 0.2183. Here, 
I get 0.2179. Oh, hang on, there we go. I have to round that up to 80. 0 0.2180. So this would round up to there. Notice they are different. That's where they change. This is the most accurate that we can make it where we have the same value for the upper and lower for m. And that is what our suitable degree of accuracy is. We could get, have one decimal place, but we can go even further. We could have two decimal places, but we could go even further. But three decimal places is the best. So we use m equals 0 0.218 to a suitable degree of accuracy as lower and upper m round to this two, three decimal places. Some kind of explanation at the end to get the marks. Well, I hope that's clear. Sorry I went on a bit. Thank you.